Hi. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to find safe password in Google Chrome. So let's assume you use Google Chrome to actually browse the internet and um, log into like so maybe different websites where you have been requested to actually save your login credentials. So if you click yes, so mind you, your info is being saved actually into the Google Chrome browser. So to find your saved login or your saved login password and credentials or your login and password in Google Chrome, what you need to do is to actually click here on the three dots here. We have the customize and control Google Chrome. So just click on that and you need to scroll down a little bit and here you have the settings. So click on settings. And on a, in settings, we will actually go to auto fill compared to like um, Firefox that you need to actually go to like privacy and security. But in Google Chrome, you just need to go to auto fill. Here in auto fill, we have the option called password. So if I click on password, so every single website that I've logged onto and actually store my credentials, the information will be saved as actually in saved password. Here I have the option to actually see the password of Nora Johnson, which I use to log on to the MicrosoftOnline.com. So if I click the show password, it's going to display the password of Nora. I also have the option to actually copy this password or, or show the details, or actually remove this password. So if I just click removed, and you can see the password will be removed. So password deleted. I also have the option to actually undo that before it's been um, gone but for now i just want to show you that you have, to, uh, you have the option to actually remove the password so that's actually how easy it is to find your safe password in google chrome my name is kelvin johnson please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video of all to fall for any kind of video that of course can be of any help to you even if you're not working in the IT department you're just finding a way to actually solve some uh, some problems which has to involve your computer thank you very much and see you next time with more videos goodbye